Well, I want to make a feeder for the dogs. So we have this barrel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to make a feeder. My thought is I'll just cut a flap out, kind of peel it back and hold it in place with a 2x4. The food will press down, um, but not want to push forward past uh, the flap. I don't know. We'll see if it works. Something along those lines. Alright, let's see what we can do for a 2x4. Okay, a 2x4 cut. I'm thinking just something kind of like this. I'm going to put in a leg screw on each corner to kind of hold it in place from the outside. along those lines and if you look inside you'll see that flap will kind of help divert uh, the, the weight of it over and back and into the back into the back of the trough there so it shouldn't just want to push and spill out the front and still plenty of room for them with their heads to get in there okay I'll fasten a couple screws on the top side inside there just for good measure Okay, we're ready to try it out. I'm gonna cut that down. But... I guess I don't have to now. Are you a dog or a beaver? Mr. Banks, your tail is messing up my camera. <laughs> He's like, I don't care, I'm hungry. Oh boy, we're gonna try out this dog. Good girl, Sala. Good boy. He's like, I can eat until my heart is content. He's probably gonna have a really full belly the first day. Yeah. <laughs> and then until he figures it out. They have food all the time. Oh, Banks, you're being a little piggy. You gotta share with Sala. You gotta let Sala in there. He's such a little piggy, huh? He's such a little piggy. Get in there, Sala. Get in there and get your food. You nuzzle him out of the way. Come on. You manhandle him. Even though you're a girl. Ah, baby. <laughs> Aren't
Alrighty. I guess I'll pick up a giant bag of dog food and we'll see how this baby works. Oh, that is a cute face. Sala gets scared of pretty much everything. Right, Sala? You're afraid of everything. All right, so the other thing I'm gonna do is make a big water trough for him. I've got this old beat up 55 gallon drum. I'm just gonna use their old water bucket to measure the approximate height. Um, make sure that Sala can still get in and out of it. And then we'll just cut this all the way around. water trough. opening a little bit too big <clears throat> I might adjust my flap a little bit bring that down um, and then I should I mean it's mostly full 
Uh, it's probably full to about there, but it's starting to spill out. So, uh, make a few minor tweaks to it, and we should be good to go.